Welcome back to Studio 6A. This hour, we're talking about how to keep kids engaged, how to keep them learning, and how to prevent learning loss during their out-of-school time, including over the summer. We have the following guests here on the panel right now. We have Richard Tegel, CEO of the Andy Roddick Foundation. Welcome. Temp Keller, founder of Wonder Lab, and Felicia Adams, the STEAM teacher at the UT Elementary Charter School. Felicia, we're going to start with you. As a STEAM teacher, what is it that you do in your classroom that is fundamentally different from what we think about as normal classroom operations and why? Um, well, most of my class is focused on project-based learning. So the students come in, they're given a problem, they're given some materials to solve it, they're usually put into teams to try to come up with a solution to the problem and then they try to solve the problem given those materials. That's kind of a basic outline of what the class is. Sometimes they solve that problem in one class period and sometimes it takes them five or six class periods to solve it. Um, the materials that they're given range anywhere between like empty toilet paper rolls and milk cartons to very high end um, uh, stop motion animation, cameras, iPads, um, and laptop computers. Mm -hmm. As a former classroom teacher who's moving into this role, what, how does it feel for you as a teacher to be operating in this way? Um, it's great. I love it. I mean, I, I think it brings some real world um, problems into the classroom. It makes the students feel empowered, like they are actually doing something that's real, that um, applies to the real world, that they can relate to. Um, it gives them exposure to technology that they may not have in their normal life and it gives them the empowerment to feel like they can not only fail and pick themselves back up again but eventually succeed at a really complex problem. Hmm. Temp, talk to us about Wonder Lab. What are you doing to change the nature of learning? Yeah, so we believe at Wonder Lab that, that so often, sadly, I mean I'd even say tragically, kids when they reach that middle school age, they just start to lose that innate love of learning that, that so many of them just wear on their sleeves in, in the early years. So Wonder Lab exists to try and reignite that love of learning. How and does that come about? So, so what we do is, is we believe that, that I actually spent a year as a, an entrepreneur in residence at a wonderful school here in Austin called the Acton Academy. And what Acton does is they think about learning. And there's learning to know, there's learning to do, there's learning to be. And their contention, and I agree, is that most schools focus largely, in some cases exclusively, on the learning to know. And, and what Acton tries to do and what we're trying to do at Wonder Lab is flip that on its head. So a kid walks into Wonder Lab and it's all about the learning to be. What are they passionate about? What motivates them to love learning? And once we figure that out, we can design this personalized, individualized project for this kid to work on and actually do develop skills around their interests and passions. And it's shocking what they then learn knowledge-wise along the way. And you're taking kids in primarily in an out-of-school time scenario? We are. So we basically work with kids. Uh, the majority um, are, are in, in full-time schooling mm -hmm. models, um, but mm -hmm. we have some kids who are in part-time schooling models and mm -hmm. then uh, a number of homeschooling families as well. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah. Now, Richard, the Andy Roddick Foundation has some grand ambitions. Yes. Tell well, us about that. Our, our vision really is to have all these abundant opportunities available to all children. Um, in Austin citywide. Right now we're focused on East Austin because we know that there's the largest gaps mm -hmm. in terms of out of school time opportunities. One of the things that we found out and discovered is basically 80% of a kid's um, awake time is really spent outside of the school. Mm -hmm. And so to tap into those community-based opportunities and community-based supports is really very important. There's a lot of things going on right now um, that schools are doing, teachers are doing, project-based learning, a lot of relationship building within schools. But the community itself um, uh, really has, you know, a lot of these resources available, a lot of people that are hungry to uh, be mentors, to mm -hmm. be role models, mm -hmm. and that's what we're trying to tap into. Give us a concrete example of a relationship that you've helped broker uh, in order to, to see this through. Well, right now we have just, uh, finished um, inaugurating our summer learning program at Pecan Springs Elementary School, where 80 uh, students at, at Pecan Springs basically were part of our summer learning program. Mm -hmm. And in order to really provide wide opportunities for these kids, we partnered with a number of nonprofit organizations to be part of that program. So it's not just a 
Roddick Foundation doing it, but a dozen or more even nonprofit organizations. We had over 80 volunteers. Mm. Uh, 80 to, volunteers for 80 kids. For 80 kids, basically one-on-one -on -one teaching, wow. small group, uh, uh, small group mentoring. Um, we tried to to really hone in on the research-based um, fact of of uh, small ratios uh, and small learning groups really provide more personal and focused attention to kids. Any preliminary results? Well, uh, one of the things that we, we found out is, you know, 100% of the families are, are willing to sign up again for next summer. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ninety-two percent uh, daily attendance rate, which for a volunteer program and uh, for kids in these neighborhoods is is really an impressive number, and so it just shows that that these kids and families are really hungry for these types of out of school time opportunities. Fabulous. Yeah, we'll be back in the next half hour to talk more with our panelists, and for now, back to New York.